One of the things that snooker players often forget is if they hit the ball hard, or indeed they raise the butt, what they are actually doing is making this cue ball bounce. Now it doesn't appear to be bouncing very much at all, but I can assure you it is. I'd like to tell you a little story is when, as a young man, we went to Pontefract for a snooker and billiard weekends with a fellow called Leslie Driffield, a very, very good billiard player. And he used to sit in the corner with his little tot of whiskey watching us play. I came across a shot like this where I tried to clip the red into the pocket. I raised the butt and I played the shot. Missing the red completely. Leslie shot up out of his chair and went, Barry, why did you miss that shot? I don't know, Leslie, I said. And then he proceeded to show me. Because I'd struck down on the white, I had made the cue ball bounce. And what in effect had actually happened, I jumped over its extremity missing the ball completely. Just to demonstrate this further, to show you what happens, here I've got three balls, all touching. I drag the cue ball back without moving the reds. And I will try, try my hardest, to play a white ball through the gap. And you'll see it is virtually impossible. But, if I place those balls there now, still touching, I still drag the ball out without moving the reds, I strike down on the cue ball and it's quite easy to get through the gap. Because what I have done now is jumped over the extremities of those reds. You may not see it happen and only slow motion will prove it to you, but I can assure you that the bounce does occur. Here's a little trick to prove it. I've got a pound coin on the table. I'll keep my cue parallel with the table and roll over the, the pound coin and it will take it with it. But if I strike down on the cue ball and make the cue ball bounce, you'll notice that I've cleared the pound coin. Here, I've got three pound coins, just to indicate to you how much that cue ball can and will bounce. So here, I'm going over the pound coins again, and that's how much it has jumped over the pound coins. If you hit the ball hard, or strike down on the cue ball, you will make it bounce. And it's amazing how many errors can occur when this cue ball is bouncing.